The Reserve Bank of India has directed banks not to levy foreclosure charges or prepayment penalties on floating rate home loans. In a notification, the central bank reiterates it that in the interest of consumers, banks should consider allowing their borrowers of prepaying floating rate term loans without any penalty. Accordingly, RBI advised that banks will not be permitted to levy foreclosure charges or prepayment penalties on all floating rate term loans sanctioned to individual borrowers with immediate effect. The Punjab and Haryana High Court has pulled up the Haryana government for not taking any action against Reliance Industries while withdrawing land allotted to it for developing an SEZ. Nearly 1400 acres of land was allotted to RIL for developing one of the country's biggest special economic zones under the public-private partnership model. The court asked the state government why it had not imposed any penalty since the SEZ had not materialized even eight years after it was first planned. The court directed the state government to furnish records of the terms and conditions of the contract as well as details of the acquisition of land in Gurgaon. According to a report by Kushman and Wakefield, global PE funds have more than doubled the investment in India's real estate sector in the quarter ending March. The report says that PE funds have invested 2,800 crore rupees in the country's commercial and residential real estate during the period, a 145% jump over from same quarter a year ago. This is the highest quarterly private equity investment since the second quarter of 2009. Cushman and Wakefield believes that improving economic conditions and stable long-term yields are expected to result in increased investor interest for commercial office assets in 2014. The much-awaited Deepak Parikh report on infrastructure financing is likely to be submitted to the Planning Commission soon. In this report, HDFC Chairman Deepak Parikh will be presenting a blueprint to finance India's ambitious plan to build new infrastructure worth $1 trillion. The report by the high-level panel led by Parikh is likely to be one of the first major action plans that the new government is expected to take on priority. The Deepak Parikh committee has been tasked with estimating the investments to be made by the public and private sectors in major core sectors. The committee will suggest ways to finance the infrasector fund deficit.